Hi guys, welcome back for chapter five of Princess Pulverizer, Grilled Cheese and Dragons. Grr, Princess Pulverizer was mad, really mad. She couldn't believe she was stuck in the ogre's tower for the whole night. Her plan had been going so well. She'd gotten into the castle with no problems. She found the queen's jewels and stole them back. But here it was the next morning and she was still stuck in the ogre's castle and it wasn't like anyone was going to be looking for her or even missing her. No one, not even her own father, would be expecting her. Not for a long while. After all, performing eight good deeds took time. It would be weeks, maybe months, until the knights of the sk round table would be sent to look for her. Not that she really needed help because that had to be the way for her to get out. Sorry, because there had to be a way for her to get out. And if anybody could figure out how to escape, it would be Princess Pulverizer. The ogre was big and strong, and he wasn't smart, and smart could always outsmart strong. And that's why they called it Outsmart. All the princess had to do was think her way out of this mess. Except it was really, really hard to think on an empty stomach. Boy... She was hungry. Thump, thump. Suddenly, the whole castle began to shake. Thump, thump. Princess Pulverizer gulped. It sounded like the ogre was walking up the stairs to the tower. What did he want now? Had he figured out she'd stolen back the queen's jewels? Princess Pulverizer sure hoped not because there was no telling what that big, stupid lunk would do if he got angry. Ooh. As the ogre got closer, a terrible smell wa wafted up the tower. It smelled like dirty feet and underarm sweat. Princess Pulverizer frowned. The giant monster didn't just need a haircut. He needed a bath, too. Click. A moment later, the ogre opened the door. He shoved a bowl and a spoon into Princess's hand. Food, he bellowed and then he turned and left the tower, locking the door behind him. The smell of dirty feet and underarm sweat filled the tower, and it didn't leave with the ogre. That's because it wasn't the ogre that smelled so bad. It was the gruel he had served her for breakfast. Oh my goodness. The only good thing about breakfast like this was that the princess didn't have to figure out which spoon was the proper one to use while eating gruel because princesses did not eat gruel ever. Still, she was hungry and this was food, sort of. So she took a spoonful, swished it around her mouth and spit that nasty stuff across the room. This is disgusting, she shouted. I want eggs and a roll and some cold juice, the princess waited for a moment, expecting the ogre to hurry back up with a new breakfast, perhaps on a tray this time. But the princess polarizer didn't hear any footsteps on the stairs. Hmm, maybe the ogre hadn't heard. If he had, he would surely have returned with a better meal. I am a princess, she shouted louder this time. I do not eat slop. Are you bringing me my breakfast? Are you out there? Answer me! Don't you worry, damsel in distress. Surprisingly, the princess got an answer. Only it wasn't the answer to her question. It wasn't coming from inside the castle. It was coming from outside. Princess Pulverizer hurried to the tower window and looked down. There was a young knight standing below. I will save you! The knight called up to her in a squeaky, nervous voice. Princess Pulverizer frowned. That little knight didn't look like he could save a mouse from a cat, never mind a princess from an ogre. Luckily, the last thing Princess Pulverizer needed was saving. She could get out of all this mess on her own. Besides, if a little knight got involved, he'd probably want to share the credit for returning the Queen Sugarmeister's jewels. But that was not happening. Not when Princess Pulverizer had already gone through so much to get the jewels back. Go away, she called down to the little knight. You're ruining everything. 
Don't worry, the knight called back. My faithful companion and I are here to free you, and... That was the last thing Princess Pulverizer heard from the little knight, because just at that moment, the ogre rushed out of the castle, scooped the knight up in one hand, threw him over his shoulder. With the other hand, he reached out and grabbed some sort of creature by the tail. The princess didn't have time to get what a good look at what the creature was. All she knew, it was a bright green and nearly the size of a fat horse. Thump, thump. Ogre was coming up the stairs again. By now, the princess recognized his footsteps. Thud, 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 thud. Those weren't the ogre's footsteps. They were loud and heavy, but they didn't belong to the ogre. They had belonged to the creature that had been captured along with the knight. Thud, 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 thud. <laughs> the princess heard a loud, mournful roar. It sounded too loud for any human to make. Princess Pulverizer had no idea what kind of monster could make a loud, horrible noise like that. All she knew was she didn't want to meet him. A moment later, the tower door opened. The ogre stomped in and clang. He dropped the little knight right on his armor-covered rear end. Then the ogre yanked at the creature's long, green, spiny tail and pulled him into the room. Princess Pulverizer's eyes opened wide. This creature was a dragon, a real live dragon. My prisoners, the ogre bellowed as he left the tower and headed back down the stairs. The loud crying started up immediately. Surprising, the loud crying coming from a human, the tiny knight was sobbing hysterically. Wow, for a little guy, he could sure make a lot of noise. Belch. Just then, the dragon let out a giant burp. A, hor a horrible smell filled the air. It stank even worse than the gruel. Sorry, the dragon apologized. Sometimes when I eat too much, I get a little gassy, and I had a huge breakfast today. Princess Pulverizer shook her head. She was stuck in a garbage-filled tiny tower with gra a gassy green dragon and a blubbering knight and she had nothing to eat but gruel that smelled like feet and sweat. This quest had become quite a mess. See you in chapter six.